Victoria and today we are going to be working on a pose called Tadasana. It's also called mountain pose and when you think about a mountain they're really big and tall strong structures and that's what we're going to do with our body. So even using the imagery of Legos, I know you've all seen Legos before, those blocks that we're going to stack on top of each other, if they're not stacked in just the right way, it's a little too wobbly. So we want our bodies to stack nice and strong. So even though we stand all the time, we want to work on it being a little bit stronger for us. So let's start with our feet. Can you feel your feet on the ground? Wiggle your toes and make them so they're not too wide and not too close. Then stack your legs over top of your feet. Then we get to our hips. Sometimes we have a hard time getting our hips to stack right over top. So we want to think about squeezing our seats a little bit tighter and pulling our belly button in towards our spine. That'll help hold us a little bit stronger. Then as we stand really proud and strong, take your shoulders and keep them in line with your hips as well. So we're trying to make a straight line down our body. Then reach the crown of your head. So that's kind of like where my ponytail is. We're going to reach it up towards the ceiling, almost like you're growing a little bit taller. Try not to lift your chin, keep it level. And then your arms can just go down by your sides, spinning either your palms towards the front of the room or just letting them hang down with your fingers facing towards the floor. So now let's work on our mind today. We're going to work on being a little bit more thoughtful. I'm going to use a big word, insightful. So insightful means being a little bit more thoughtful. So if you can close your eyes down, standing tall in this mountain pose, in our minds, we are going to say, I am insightful, three times. I'll whisper it for you so it can help you to remember what we're saying. I am insightful. I am insightful. I am insightful. Now let's blink those eyes open. You know, any time that you're feeling worried or you're feeling angry, maybe sad, it's normal. We all go through times of feeling this way. We just need to remind ourselves what beautiful people we really are. So I like to use the word insightful because it means many things. The first thing that comes to mind is being a little bit more thoughtful. Maybe you could think about a few things that also would mean the word insightful. Jot them down on a piece of paper or maybe draw a picture of what you think of when you see the word insightful in your mind and how you can be an insightful person in your day. You know, doing these postures can sometimes be easy, but working on what's happening in our mind can be really difficult. I know that we can all do it. We just need to do it in baby steps. So for the rest of the day, the rest of the week, the rest of the month, I want you to use the word insightful. And remember that you are insightful. You're thoughtful. You're a very beautiful person. So in the morning or maybe at night, remind yourself of that. Say it three times. I am insightful. Maybe even standing in that mountain pose with your eyes closed. You deserve to feel good. I love you. I care for all of you. Have a beautiful rest of your day.